Um, I seem to have a hard time standing up for myself uh, when I get into situations where the person either has anger or there's tension involved. Well, part of you, a big part of you, knows that you don't have to stand up for yourself, meaning you don't have to ever push against anyone else right. because nobody else is the holder of the goods that you're trying to defend. In other words, at very deep levels, you are completely non-resistant in nature because you understand good flows to you and you don't have to fight and claw and scratch for it. You don't have to explain, it just flows. And so we think a part of you understands that. Why do you use the words not stand up for yourself? What makes you choose those words? Well, because I don't say anything sometimes. I mean, it just seems like this person has maybe a stronger vibration about well, what they're wanting. Maybe, versus... but maybe you're really wise. Maybe you know you're vibrating here and they're vibrating there and your words would fall on deaf ears. Maybe you're understanding that there's really no point in having this conversation because they're not in the receiving mode of what you're offering and so mm. it's sort of wasted breath. And we don't call that not standing up for oneself. We call that understanding when the communication's of value and understanding when it's not. What makes you say not standing up for yourself? Part of you believes that others hold power and that they have the ability to give it to you or withhold it from you. Yes? Mm -hmm. And we want you to understand that nobody outside of you can bestow power to you or withhold power from you. It is all you're doing. Yeah, but I just want to be able to just react differently. Well, give us an example. Well, I went to dinner a couple of weeks ago with someone and it came to the point of dessert and he, you know, said, well, just get whatever you want. And the waiter had suggested something, but it was like this chocolate thing and he said it would take it like maybe 15 minutes to make and I thought it sounded really good and the guy I was with um, it, you know I said I wanted that and he said but it's gonna take another 15 minutes do you really want that and so I thought but you just said just get whatever you want and um, so I ended up getting it just to kind of like spite him a little bit and it was <laughs> and he ended up loving it anyway but the point was it's not like I, I wanted to argue with him, but I just wanted to feel okay with my decision versus what he thought I should be doing. Well, if we were standing in your physical shoes, we would play that scenario out in our mind and we would think about what actually happened. Someone suggested something to you and you followed what felt best to you and made a decision. Mm -hmm. And when you made the decision, it caused someone else to begin to evaluate the factors. And that negative evaluation caused you to evaluate more clearly what you wanted and now it became more than do I just want something that tastes really good or do I want something that the waiter has really expressed as being something unbelievably wonderful but now also I want to add to that my expression of my autonomy my expression of my being able to get what I'm wanting so we think you stood up for yourself we think you stuck to your guns there was a little resistance within it that you would have felt a lot better without you could have used humor and played with it and whatever. But anyway, we think you did stick up for yourself and you did stick to your guns and you did get what you wanted to get. And then what happened? He loved yeah, it. In other words, it was <laughs> worth the wait. It was worth waiting for. It gave you an opportunity that you could have more of an experience. Now, you could have softened that and made it easier. You could have said something like, well, I really would love to sit here longer. I'm having such a wonderful time and it would give us an excuse to sit and interact with one another longer and stretch this delicious evening out even more. And if it's all right with you, I would really like to do that. In other words, you can find ways and the more experience you have and the more things go your way, the more you discover how to make things go your way. Kate, who is not three yet, has learned that all she has to do is stand around the corner and look at Jerry and her eyes say, come and play with me and he goes in other words and then she will say again again 
No complaining, no whining, just expectation again, again. It just makes them want, there is nothing that they would not do. In other words, she could just say again, 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 and they would still be there. When you are in that environment where you are tuned in with source energy and you are expecting good things to happen to you, Everybody around you who's anywhere near that vibrational wavelength wants to play with you in order to give you what you want. And sometimes, and we think this is probably something that happens often with you because you are used to things going your way. And there are a lot of people who come around you who are not necessarily used to things going their way. And when somebody who wants things to go their way witnesses somebody who gets things going their way, which amplifies their awareness that things don't always go their way, sometimes they like to put their foot in the way to keep things from going your way but they still went your way didn't they because things just go your way and so what you want to just start expressing to those around you is I'm used to things going my way and that doesn't mean that I expect you to make them go my way but things just go my way and so if it's gonna bother you to be around someone who's charmed who everything goes their way then you might want to find somebody else to go out to dinner with because I'm used to things always going my way I attract the best waiters I attract the best food I go to the best restaurants I find the best desserts things just go my way you always get what you want it's the way it's supposed to be for you good thank you Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have had just a phenomenally enjoyable life. And four years ago, I came across your teachings, and it just got exponentially more enjoyable. And I can't thank you enough. Um, I heard on a CD a couple years ago, you tell someone, um, he asked a question, you said, well, that really is the only question, isn't it? And so my question is, how can I uh, experience more and more and more joy in my life? By knowing about the vortex by knowing about vibration by knowing about what joy is and by caring about feeling good and by using joy as the only criteria that causes you to want to focus upon anything joy is your criteria how true it is is irrelevant how many others are experiencing it is irrelevant what anybody else thinks about it is irrelevant is the thought a good feeling thought so that you're lying in your bed and you're pondering something that you saw on television or something that you heard about or something that you read about or something that you experienced and as you're pondering it it's muting your feeling of joy and you catch yourself with that muted feeling and you say hey hey getting your own attention hey I don't have to think about this right now and then just withdraw your attention from it until you feel the discomfort dissipate as you put your attention on anything anything that feels better than that that's that is the key <coughs> wanting to feel good and knowing what feeling good means because it means everything that's what we were attempting to say in the conversation just before the segment of refreshment that that it, it is so interesting that what everyone wants is to feel good and feeling good is alignment it, 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 it is alignment and that al alignments what everyone wants and feeling good is what everyone wants and they are the same thing it, it, the, it, the emotion is the key to everything and you have the ability to focus yourself into an emotion you have the ability to do that but first you have to accept that you're a vibrational being and that your emotions are about vibration and that the vibrations are about the relationship between you and you and the relationship between you and you is what joy is and once you get all those pieces together you've got it it won't mean that you won't have old patterns of thought that will distract you or old patterns of thought that will they'll that will make you feel uncomfortable but it it means that so let's say there's someone who's been a thorn in your side they have been so annoying and and so you just stop thinking about them you just stop thinking about them because every time you thought about them it was uncomfortable so you just stop thinking about them you didn't try to fix the relationship you didn't try to mend the relationship you just stopped thinking about them and you focused upon anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex anything and everything that you could find that took you in the vortex until you just tuned yourself into the frequency of who you really are and now you find yourself able to think about that person 
who used to just rip you out of the vortex that used to just tear you up every time and you don't feel any discomfort whatsoever because you've practiced a vibration that makes that opinion that you used to hold that you might have even had valid reasons for holding it it's irrelevant it's not matching up with you you're not rendezvousing with that anymore you see when you think about creation let's talk about so let's talk about coming together in a relationship let a relationship as simple as a conversation with someone in passing that's a relationship so there's a rendezvousing but it's also a rendezvousing when you're thinking about something that's a rendezvousing too because in either case it's an active vibration that law of attractions matching with things like it so whether you're rendezvousing in what you call real life experience or whether you're rendezvousing with an idea in your mind or with a memory is still rendezvousing so what when you when you recognize that you're having emotional responses to rendezvous and you have the ability to choose the emotional response that you have now you're in control of all rendezvous did you, did you follow that you have the ability to feel how you choose to feel about everything and most people don't know that most people are having knee-jerk reactions to things that's why they think they need to control other people hey when you do that I feel this way and I don't like it so you need to stop it well that's that's hard it's a lot of trouble in that but when you get it that that nobody has to stop anything that you have the ability to put your mind under any and all conditions in a place that feels good now we'll give it to you, you got to practice but if you will practice it every chance you get you will discover that things that were at one time impossible for people that you couldn't even say their name without going into a rampage about how awful they are you will find yourself just feeling nothing but love about them because there's so much to love about everyone and now you're in the vibration of that if you're gonna think about them law of attraction is gonna insist that you rendezvous with a loving thought about them because you've trained your vibration into love that's freedom that's freedom to train your vibration there to train your vibration there to train your vibration there do it with easy, easy things first cats dogs children babies in other words pick the easy stuff let them help you train your vibration train it into love train it into love train it into alignment train it into alignment train it into alignment train it into alignment and before you know it you will be one who lives unconditional love and then you will be a true uplifter and healer sick people will walk by you and you'll say hi and they'll be better <laughs> confused people walk by and you'll give them your attention and they'll suddenly have a moment of clarity in other words you have that kind of power of influence and you don't have to have an altered body out-of-body experience to have it. 